Happy Monday, I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your first defense forecast. And like the banner says, we're finally going the other way. Somewhat. The uh, sunset times now are starting to get later, but because the sunset times are getting later, doesn't mean we're actually gaining any daylight. We're not going to gain daylight again until this happens. The uh, winter solstice, which occurs this Saturday at 11.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 10, 19 p.m. Central. And uh, so uh, when this happens, when the solstice officially occurs, the sunset, the sunrise's time will start to get earlier. So right now we're not gaining any daylight. We're still continuing to lose daylight uh, as the uh, sunrise uh, comes up later in the day. Or uh, So here we go. Uh, 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 rain showers through the day or through the night tonight and uh, this is uh, the in-house computer model painting some widespread rain. Now we will get into more snow as colder air filters in with a storm system passing to our south so we'll change all this over to snow again. Darker blues indicate the heavier amounts of snowfall rates. There actually is a winter weather advisory in place for the entire southern tier starting later tonight going into uh, tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. The widespread snow tapers off Wednesday night and it looks like as we go into Wednesday night into Thursday we see some essence of maybe some lake effect snow starting to set back up as we had Wednesday night going into Thursday. So projected snowfall totals, this is going all the way through uh, tomorrow. This doesn't take into effect Wednesday. About three to six inches on the highest hills, two to four across the lower elevations. This is all snow we can manage. It's nothing, uh, it's not of a big deal. And obviously, once you get right near the Lake Erie shoreline, immediately on the shoreline, about one to three, everywhere else, probably two to four, three to six, which you rise up into the hills. But the bigger story is going to be the wind and the cold. These are the future wind chill numbers going into Wednesday night. Now, wind chill is a combination of the air temperature plus the wind. L most everybody, sub zero wind chills by Wednesday night, and it looks like we will stay sub-zero Wednesday and Thursday for wind chill numbers. Ouch! It's going to be a very frigid time. 31 degrees tomorrow. That's our official high. 23 on Wednesday, falling through the day. Most of us will end the day probably in the lower teens, near 10 degrees. 19, best we'll be able to do Thursday. Wind stays up again. Lake effect snow will likely be possible. Another cold start on Friday, but at least 34 degrees, partial sunshine. And we go right around where we should be for this time of the year for the weekend, mainly dry with partial sunshine and temperatures in the lower 30s.